Cleanup and repairs are continuing throughout the tri-state tonight as residents and businesses try to fix what Mother Nature and the bitter cold snap caused. Nine on your side's Natasha Williams is live at the Hamilton County Juvenile Court where crews have been working around the clock. Natasha? Well, Carol, we just learned that the juvenile court building here, the Hamilton County Juvenile Court building, will be closed again tomorrow. But crews are working around the clock to try to get the power restored here so it can eventually open back up. Now, crews, cleanup, repair crews are working feverishly at homes throughout the tri state after pipes popped because of cold weather. This woman feels lucky she wasn't hurt when her ceiling collapsed in South Fairmount. She says pipes burst in a bathroom upstairs above her home. When my roof fell in this morning, all I heard was water just running, running. So when I get up to go in there, I got water running there, and the whole roof just fell in. It's freezing cold in my house, and I'm 66 years old, and it's freezing in here. And it the Phi Delta Theta frat house was a victim of water woes. A pipe burst in this house this morning. Hamilton County Juvenile Court likely had the most damage when a sprinkler gave way on the second floor, emptying water stored for the entire 17-story building. The scenario we don't want to happen is, is the building gets so cold that we continue to see more, more and more pipes burst. So that would be the, the max effort to get power on. Okay. Now, a limited number of juvenile hearings will be held at the 2020 building in Mount Auburn tomorrow. Now, crews are continuing to work inside this building right now, trying to get it up and running as soon as possible. Reporting live from the Hamilton County Juvenile Court building, Natasha Williams, not on your side.